Hello all, Sarah Ann Leslie here. You may know me as the founder of Chocolita Chocolate. I've been making chocolate, specifically raw chocolate, since 2005. First apprenticing with Sedona Chocolate Superfoods for a number of years, and a few years ago I sprouted my wings and launched my own company, Chocolita. Chocolita was birthed from the idea of putting intention behind eating chocolate. In its early history, chocolate was used as a medium for delivering herbs and spices to those who consumed it. Because it is a vasodilator, it opens up the capillaries and allows for higher absorption of whatever it is consumed with. I wanted to rebirth that idea with my company and marry my two loves together, herbalism and chocolate. This marriage fueled the creation of my first chocolate, Moontime Rose. Moontime Rose was created from my desire to combine the herbs I use to ease my Moontime woes and chocolate together. I am one of those people that have severe dysmenorrhea and can't walk and experience extreme pain during my cycle. So this combination was created out of a necessity really, so that I can just pop some chocolate in my mouth and curl up in a hot bath for the day. Well, it turns out that combination was incredibly successful for me. So I began sharing it with my lady friends who raved about it as well. And from there I thought, why don't I keep on this theme and roll with it? There really wasn't a raw white chocolate bar on the market at the time. And I loved white chocolate growing up. So I developed a raw white chocolate bar and that became the theme of my creations for a while. And from that, the Pine Pollen and Lemon, a Power Punch bar was born and the rest of the flavors have been developed over time from there. I'm such a foodie by heart, and I've got a deep drive and passion for combining beauty, health, and function together. I want to create bars that don't just do something for you and are good for you, but taste incredible as well. Along with that, my mother is a diabetic, and I know that many people out there are now, and I wanted to use low glycemic sweeteners so that Chocolita could be shared with the whole family. I'm reaching out to you all today because some major shifts are happening at Chocolita. We currently rent space at Lulu's Chocolate Kitchen and have done so for a few years. As you may or may not have heard, Lulu's is going to be transitioning out of Sedona and Chocolita is going to take over the kitchen space and eventually the lounge space. Later this year we will take over the production facility, which is a giant responsibility. That means we are looking for funds for packaging equipment, production equipment, and to cover rent through the rest of the year. This entire company has been funded by me alone through my day job as a massage therapist, and I've put in the equivalent of over 1,500 massages. Come spring, we will grow into the new space, which will require me to retire from massage so I can focus full-time on production. It's been 13 years and my body hurts. It's time. With your help, I'm sure we can make this leap a success. The Chocolita team is pretty small. It consists of me, a few incredible Oompa Loompas that help me with production, my social media guru, a contracted web designer, and three incredible graphic designers. We are all so grateful for your support, however big or small. I'm launching this Kickstarter again because I want you all to get the chocolate and gifts that you have pledged for on the first one I lowered my ask amount to what we raised last time so we can quickly get over the hump of raising that amount and then hopefully raise more from there. I truly want to share this chocolate medicine with you so it can light up your life the way it has lit up mine. Thanks so much for watching this video and it would mean the world to me if you share this with your friends and family through words of mouth and or the all powerful social media. This is Kickstarter so if we don't raise all the money we don't raise any which means we'll have to settle for a crazy backup plan of high interest loans and or me working more 20 hour days and consistently buying cheap equipment which breaks easily and then replacing it with more cheap equipment, etc. You get the idea. Thank you so much in advance for your support. I really appreciate it.